All right, dig in. Let's do it. Oh, yes, so delicious. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. I can hike two more mountains today. Oh my god. I just made this. Canada Bomb, part of our The Bomb series, recipes focused on pantry ingredients, smashing and bombing them together like stuffing, grits, ramen, mashed potatoes, all those kind of things for fast, easy, high calorie and cheap meals. And I'm here at this amazing ridgeline in North Cascades National Park and we just did the Hidden Lake Lookout Trail. And this is our day hike lunch. But stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. Heyo, Chef Corso, Monty Boca. We are here at Hidden Lake Lookout, and I'm here with great recipe tester. S'mores are a food group, and behind the camera is Guanaco Jockey. And Hello. we are here to make uh, a great, fast, easy, tasty recipe for your next trip. The Canada Bomb, which is a woo, uh, which is a take on a ramen bomb, which you may already know. If you guys don't know what a ramen bomb is, it's ramen and mashed potatoes smashed together, bombed together for a great, high calorie <laughs> treat fast and tasty meal but we're going to take that concept with different pantry ingredients and smash them together so today we're using ramen mm -hmm. and instant mash or not instant, instant mashed potatoes instant hash browns to be able to make up our bomb hey chef corso yeah what if i can't find instant hash browns good question because this was really really hard for me to find um, it's a little bit of a white whale of an ingredient is you can use instant mashed potatoes mm -hmm. as a lot of you are using or you can use potato oh. chips also super high calorie but you know they're potatoes so that so that works really well um, there's also two ways we could make this recipe uh, is we could put everything in the pool mm -hmm. and boil it up or we can keep the gravy separate mm -hmm. and cook it up and hydrate it and oh. just have it be gravy on the top like you know an actual gravy rather just than just seasoning cool which one are we doing today we are going to do the second one because i'm pretty sure you and everybody else out there can boil water and put stuff in a pot i can do that so and Cor chef corso where do i find this recipe oh good call so this recipe is actually in our new cookbook trail meals wander edition available now ah. so check it out plus 19 other great recipes besides this canada bomb so i think we cool. should get cooking let's do it all right yeah. okay all right, we're on this awesome rock. We're gonna start to, <laughs> and we're gonna start to cook our ramen bomb, uh, Canada bomb. So the other few ingredients that we have in here was we have a couple beef gravy packets. We've got cheese curds because of course you need cheese curds for the true poutine ramen Canada experience. And another thing you can add to this is uh, pre-cooked bacon for a little bit of extra uh, smokiness, calories, those type of things. Mm -hmm. And another big main ingredient is beef jerky mm -hmm. that will hydrate really nicely um, in our broth. So we've got basically our pantry ingredients of our ramen and hash browns with some beef, gravy, and then we're going to throw some cheese in it. So I don't know about you, but that sounds Delicious. pretty good to me. That sounds awesome. All right, so let's get our burner going and uh, get our water boiling. Let's do it. I've got the water right here. Yep. So we're just waiting for this water to boil and that jerky to start to hydrate and then we're going to throw in our ramen. And so the other thing about this hike is this hike has been on your fridge for how long? Three years. Three years? Three well, years. I'm really glad we can finally like check that off the box and maybe you can put something else on the fridge when you get back. Definitely. But, um, it's been a really fun uh, journey up here to help you take that off. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> and thanks for lunch, too. <laughs> so another thing about this recipe that you might notice is that um, we don't have salt as an ingredient. So what I found when using the beef jerky mm -hmm. is that there's quite a bit of salt that uh, tends to flavor up the broth. Mm -hmm. um, and also there'll be some salt in the ramen here. Plus, mm -hmm. if you are using chips, there's definitely salt on there. Yeah. So it's just kind of a nice thing where 
there's usually plenty of salt going on with the ingredients to be able to flavor up your bowl. All right, so we're boiling, so it's time to add our ramen. And you can easily make this one portion, two portions, four portions, depending on how many people are on your trip. But we're feeding three people today. And you know, maybe we'll add the pork flavor packet, see what that tastes like in there. And what we're doing is just boiling up that ramen until it's just about done. And then we're going to transfer it from here into here and let it hydrate mm. our chips and hydrate our hash browns. Nice. And can I get your package too? So the package of ramen, it's always important to pack this stuff out. Okay. I'm gonna give that a nice stir. And we are here at 6,800 feet. So this actually boiled up pretty quick, but if you're at sea level, it's gonna be even quicker. Nice. That is looking good already. It's getting nice and soft. So this has been cooking for just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the burner and let's go ahead and give it a try before we add it to our hash browns. It looks delicious. Let's try this on. Oh man, nice and salty. So then I'm just gonna transfer it, broth and all, to our bag here. And I know a lot of you through hikers out there, this is how you eat a lot of your meals. But as you can see here, this is gonna give us a pretty solid portion. I'm just gonna give that a nice stir as well to start to hydrate those hash browns and those chips, because <laughs> hell yeah, why not? And we're gonna let this hydrate and come back to that in, I don't know, maybe five or 10 minutes. But again, if you're using instant mashed potatoes, this will be done right about now. The hash browns usually take about five or 10 minutes. So one note about this recipe too with the cheese curds, this comes from the recipe tester, Meg the Egg. So thanks to Meg the Egg for testing this recipe first is to put the cheese curds in now or almost at the end of cooking so they can get a little bit soft. Great tip, Meg. Great tip, Meg the Egg. Thanks very much. Oh man, so that's gonna get a little bit gooey and a little bit soft in there. Oh, that's gonna give us the full Canada experience. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could put maple syrup on it too, but I don't, may, maybe not not for this recipe. Nah. So for all of you out there, if you don't know much about Monte Boca, Monte Boca is a company and community founded on eating well outdoors, eating amazing food like right here, but also uh, having uh, you guys out there help me test the recipes. So s'mores are our food group and Guanaco Jockey behind the camera are recipe testers and they take a recipe out on their trips. Uh, test it out, make sure it works, and then send it back to me and we uh, upload it to the recipe bank so we all can enjoy eating well outdoors. How has your experience been in testing recipes? It's been great. I love having a new recipe to take out. I love uh, being able to give feedback and be part of the community and see it improve. And then so sometimes my recipes even end up in the cookbooks and that's awesome. Super cool. But it, I, I literally cannot do it without you guys. Like I could do this by myself, like cooking on rocks, but it's really not that fun. <laughs> I'd rather do it with you guys and with you guys. Uh, so if you're interested in joining the recipe tester crew, head over to montiboca.com. Uh, sign up with a little bit of a newsletter so I know a little bit about you, but you could test out recipes on your next trip. The other great part of being in the Monte Boca community is that you see where everybody else is testing the recipes. And I found some really great hikes that way too. So nice. not only is it about the food, it's also about being outdoors. Uh, so while we're sitting and letting this hydrate, we're gonna go ahead and make the gravy. So we're gonna put in our, our brown gravy mix. And if you wanna do just like a quarter cup of water, Good. maybe a little bit more than that. And the thing about these gravy packets is they have a lot of, of starch in them that will, you one little more splash, um, that thicken up once heat is added. So you can't necessarily do a cold soak with this to get the full thick gravy experience. You do need to add a little bit of heat, but usually thickens up pretty quick. So in just a few seconds, that gravy is, is hydrated and ready to go. Nice. So it's, oh, hell yeah. yeah. That is real gravy right there. 
So again, you can put the gravy mix in here and kind of flavor up the whole thing, but there is something about ladling or spooning wet, mm -hmm. wet, yummy gravy on the top of a meal. Or just eating spoonfuls of gravy <laughs> on the top of a mountain. That works too. That's true. Mm, okay. All right. So we're slapping the bag. Here is our... Man, it does not look pretty, but I think it's going to be really, really awesome. So here is our Canada Bomb. And wow, two packets of ramen plus one packet of hash browns, one packet of, of jerky gives us this. This is a lot of food mm -hmm. for not a lot of money. So now we're going to bowl this up. And oh my God, look at that cheese curd. Nice and melty. Our jerky. Wow. Oh my God, give me, come on. And we'll get one more cheese curd and maybe potato chip just to round out our bowl experience here. Oh my goodness. Hit that with a little bit of gravy. Oh, a little bit more. Moss gravy. Oh, yes. the gravy. Awesome. All right, I think it's time to try it. A little bit more gravy, sure. All right, so here's what it looks like when it's all done. Canada bomb. All right, dig in. Let's do it. Oh. Yes. So delicious. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. I can hike two more mountains today. Oh my God. Wow, that's really salty, really filling. Uh, this should keep you going like all day long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, why don't you go for Equinaco? <laughs> Equinaco Jockey, how is it? Delicious. Awesome. Well, we're going to finish our. That was too big of a bite, sorry. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish our Canada Bomb here. But check out this recipe at montimocha.com. Pick up the Wander edition of the cookbook. But get out there, tick off some sort of day hike or some sort of trip that's been on your fridge for, for a while, but get out there. Boca Boca. Boca Boca.